When I think of joy business, for me, actually it started at a very young age. My dad was a CEO of a, a textile company, and I remember the excitement I always had just listening to him and the things that he was actually doing in his business, and all the di different ways he was being creative. So when I think about joy in our business, it's actually how creative can we be with things that we put out in the world, um, whether it's our clients, whether it's our employees, whether it's just people in our lives. Because what if everything that we actually do in business is really part of the adventure of our living? And so for me, joy of business is in everything that I do. The meetings, chatting with people, mentoring them, empowering them, or just giving them, sharing a tool with them that really from a question allows them to just have their own information and their own awareness. And maybe it turns into an idea for them of what they would like to create in their business or in their life. One of the things about the tools is that they're just questions. And they could be the simplest questions, but yet give you the greatest amount of information. So one of the things for me is like, what if you're willing to ask your business today, who or what it would desire to add to itself today? Or who or what would you like to actually desire into your life today? Um, I know it sounds kind of silly, but actually including your business allows you to grow your business in a way that you may not even be able to come up with those ideas on your own. But when we include our business, just by asking the question, hey, who would you like to add to you today? Or what can we do different today? Or you know what, we really desire to do this thing, whatever this service, solution, product is. It's like, who do you know, the business, that actually can bring value into this, can give us more information? Who's done it before? And out of the blue, you'll get a phone call. Or out of the blue, you get an idea to call someone. And don't take it the wrong way, but it may actually be your friend or your family member. I've had ideas like that, and then I'm like, oh, I have to call my aunt today. It's like, hmm, okay. Don't really know why I needed to call my aunt, but when I call her, there's some information she gives me that's exactly what I was looking for to assist me in what I was trying to do. I've called my aunt many times, and it's led to a lot of different kinds of doors that's opened up in businesses for me. <laughs> and if you asked her if she's in business, she would say no but she actually ends up giving me a lot of great information that allows me and my business to grow. So when I ask questions about the future, future for my businesses, future of business or future of joy in having a business or in your life, it's so big. It's just like tingling feeling inside of me. Can't really put it into words. But it just is like, what if we have so many more options that we didn't even know we had? What if we have skills, capacities, abilities that we didn't even know we had? So when I think of the world in 50 years or even 100 years, what if we did empower every child every adult to know that there's more in their life that's available for them, that's more available in whatever they'd like to have as something they do every day or something they do once a year. So what if it could be truly that the joy could be agnostic to everything but allow us to actually choose to create more into the world.